goes, it 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 goes, Now the mistake I see people make all the time in guillotines is where one, they'll grab it and just go straight back, which you can get tapped there, but not at the high level. So you'll see that's why you see, you see white belts getting a simple tap, not doing it correctly, it's going back. Or I'll see guys go in and then they re-straighten the arm. So I want to turn so my elbow is touching my leg and now I'm just pulling my fist into it. So I'm flexing here and the choke's coming right here. So when it comes on, right there. Now once you start finishing it, some guys will go on their toes, like kind of tripod up. Yeah, see you can tripod up. This is smart, he puts his, uh, puts his weight right in my sternum. This is, what you, this is what you should do is what I'm trying to guillotine you. So I go, I open my guard, I put the foot, so the op, the, whichever the opposite side of his head is, and I crank his head. See, I have, I have to actually kind of choke him and it's not going to go over. So I pull, see how I, I see how I take my elbow and I clamp his head in right here, and now I just lift this. Now see how I land? I'm almost, I'm almost at mouth, but he has my foot. So I just drive my knee over, and I take my other foot and fight this out. I can post and look up, and a lot of times I look at the finish. If the guy doesn't tap here when I post, I put my head on the mat, I reach over and I grab my, uh, I usually just grab this grip right here. So it's kind of, it's kind of like a Marcelo Garcia. He does that guillotine rope, the high, high elbow guillotine. So it's here, it goes like over, right there, really tight. So a butterfly guard, you're playing around, how I snap the head down, I snap the head right here. So this is perfect, see how I have the over. See, so I'll do it off, uh, guys a lot of times want to get this underhook, so he's kind of pushing into me, so I grab his arm and snap his head. They want to flatten you out right here, right? Which even once I'm flattened out, I can reach and grab this. So whether he flattens me out or, he's, or when he's or he's pushing in, you see I snap the head. Even if he beats me to it and flattens me, then I just grab his head, re-straight. So all I'm gonna do is basically the same thing we just did. See, I fall. I fall directly sideways. See, I fall here. I'm, I'm putting pressure on the choke. If I just fall with no pressure on the choke, he can he can like sag his uh like drop your legs back. Yeah, he might not fall. But when I put when I when I I'm doing this, remember that pulling motion? I'm doing the same thing as I fall and then I elevate this foot so he goes right over. So you go here, I grab this, this rolls over the shoulder. This is really hard to, uh, to fight because I can just go up and it crushes Adam's apple. See so you how know, my head kind of comes across, it goes easier, and I can finish this by putting my hips in. On the ground, it so it's like when I go here, when I roll this over, if he goes to throw it, like if I'm here, he can throw this over, push in, and defend it. That's why I actually like doing the, uh, the arm in guillotine. Now he can't defend it. Same thing with this. Uh, same thing with this high elbow guillotine. I throw this over. If he goes to defend it, he chokes himself right there. See, if he goes to defend it, it gets worse. And just if I pull the head down right here. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot, put my arm under, and I'm just gonna sit back in a version of this sweep. So I'm gonna sit and I wanna kick his thigh right here. Make sure guys don't kick each other in the balls, obviously. So I'm gonna go, so I'm going like kind of kicking right through. You know, it's not like a hard kick, I'm kind of just like putting my foot and over the shoulder. And as I'm rolling, I'm doing the same thing I was doing in that sweep. I'm, I'm, I put pressure on the choke and I'm rolling over the shoulder. It's, people hardly ever stop this one. This is such a high percentage move. But once, I, once I'm here, it's like 99% of finishing this takedown. You guys know hard takedowns are to finish. So it's so effective once you're good at this. I just sit and it rolls through. I grab his head, I snap down here. And now I go under his armpit. So regular front headlocks here, this one goes under. So I'm pulling him into me. And now I start that same caving motion and I'm falling, falling the direction we're doing in the sweep. So it's very similar to that sweep we're doing. It's a standing. And this foot kicks the side of his thigh. As I fall, see I go here, it takes my over. I drive in here, I hook this, and now see I start stretching this, and now I pull, right as I pull, this bottom foot goes in. Now I keep pulling all the way through. Because if I stay here, sometimes guys can scoot out and escape. So I pull all the way through here. So my arm, the underneath arm, is underneath his arm. It makes it harder for him to escape. I know a lot of guys could do the opposite, which you can choke easier this way, so there's an advantage of that, but he also can escape easier. But my arm being under his, it stops his escape. And if you can, if you have long legs, get this uh, bigger floor right to the side. So once I fall here, I like to grab, uh, I grab his four fingers here, see him controlling his arms, here. 
Now I'm gonna come with my uh, top arm for a choke right here. I'll grab, uh, I'll grab high on his uh, shoulder here and I look in and start trying to roll. So he's generally not gonna finish him, but it's a lot of pressure. So what happens is he reaches up to defend with this one to pull down. As he pulls down, I reach and catch this arm here. See how there's pressure here? Now I, I'm controlling here, here. I do, I do this all really fast, because it's only gonna last for a second or two. And now this, I put this arm in, so I switch my head directions here. Now I rip this back, sli I slide behind his head. As I slide, I do a little look away. That, that allows, see, so sometimes I don't look away, it gets stuck. If I look away, it gives me space to slide this right here for the finish. It goes, 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 it